Hey Guitar Heroes, so one of my most common questions I get all the time is um, how do I just generally improve at the game? How do I practice? Or what's some, what are some good things I can practice to get better at the game? And um, it's, a, it's kind of a vague question, which makes it pretty difficult to answer, but I kind of wanted to um, just kind of explain, you know, some good practice, practice techniques. Um, the first question I will ask you in response is what, what is your current skill level? Um, because, you know, depending on where you're at on the skill tree will, uh, really, um, determine what you should be playing. But, um, I kind of wanted to break down, so there are really three different skills that you should have, or like, you know, three different, uh, categories of, that you should be skilled in. Of course, you want to be skilled in being able to strum really well. That's category one. Category two is, you know, being able to fret and shred and do all kinds of things with one hand. And then category three is tapping. You know, being able to use both hands on the fretting like that. Um, so yeah, if you can... Well, basically what it comes down to is you want to master all three of these categories. And it's good to usually work on whichever one is your um, least... Uh, least great, I guess. <laughs> um... <clears throat> so let's say you have an issue with tapping, but you're good at, you know, fretting and strumming. Like, well, then you should um, pick up some tapping songs. But uh, let's just go back to the very beginning. So I'm going to show you what my playlist here looks like. Okay, so if you are brand new to Clone Hero, I would recommend playing... playing just play the actual Guitar Hero set lists. So like right here you've got Guitar Hero 2. Guitar Hero 3 is I think most people's favorites. Guitar Hero 3 and Guitar Hero uh, Warriors of Rock are probably the most popular. So the reason I suggest um, playing like Warriors of Rock or Guitar Hero 3 is mostly because these are the only... Like these ones actually have easy difficulty. Like if you're not even on the level of playing on Expert yet then definitely start with the Guitar Hero games because most custom songs people put together, um, a lot of the time they don't really bother putting in the easier difficulties because it's kind of just expected that everyone can play expert. So if you want to play like ultra easy stuff, then yeah, just play play stuff from the Guitar Hero set lists. Guitar Hero 2, Guitar Hero 3, 4, 5, whatever. Now, now you might wonder what's a good time to move past the Guitar Hero games? Um, I would say, like, once you're pretty comfortable on Expert and you're getting, you know, once you're getting six or seven stars on a lot of songs on Expert, then that's when I would recommend you start downloading some of the miscellaneous playlists that are, like, Clone Hero specific. So, basically, it all comes down to Anti-Hero, Anti-Hero Beach Episode, Carpal Tunnel Hero 1, and Carpal Tunnel Hero 2. Those four playlists, I'll have links to them. Um, and, uh, yeah, you should get, I mean, that's, that alone, those four playlists will get you almost a thousand new songs. And, um, it's really good to just try new stuff. Like, even if you haven't, you've never heard the song before, like, just kind of scroll through these and then, you know, listen to it and think like, oh, that sounds pretty cool, so I'll just, uh, play that. Um, these playlists are just full of great stuff. Um, you'll find a lot of great stuff. Um, <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> one of the best ways to work on like shredding one-handed is to play these solo medleys. And um, Carpal Tunnel Hero 2 especially just has so many solo medleys that I just play them all the time. Like, let's see, this one... I've played this one 12 times, and it's like 20 minutes long. This one I played 10 times, 12 times. Yeah, see, I just play... Like, solo medleys are just really great for working on your one-handed speed. You know, I have a lot of people ask me, how do I improve my, you know, my hand speed? And that's a great way is to just, you know, once you're ready to start playing these solo medleys, then um, just go for it. Like, some of them are harder than others. Like, the Bards one is pretty difficult, but... Um, now, Dragon Force is a completely different ballgame. 
So once you are getting decent at Through the Fire and Flames, like let's say you've been working on the Guitar Hero 3 set list and uh, you've you've started to like be able to pass Through the Fire and Flames or like you're getting four or five stars, I would highly recommend you download the Dragon Force pack. Um, the Dragon Force pack is honestly, if I could only have one pack in the whole game, I would probably take the Dragon Force discography. So it's uh, it's all seven albums. Yeah, so it's uh, Valley of the Damned, Sonic Firestorm, and Human Rampage. Um, these songs are on, honestly some of my absolute favorites to play because they really work on your strumming and also your fretting. Like these, these have some of the best strumming and shredding practices in them. And um, some of them are a bit easier than Through the Fire and Flames. Some of them are a bit harder. Like this one has been driving me insane because I can't... It's one of two Dragon Force songs that I can't FC. Or, I can't 7 star, sorry. Um, that one and uh, Revolution Death Squad currently are the only two I can't get 7 stars. But it's a, it's a great challenge, you know, you can uh, practice these ones a lot. Um, so I'll just show you a few of my other playlists that I have. So yeah, other than the Guitar Hero... So, so yeah, there's the Guitar Hero game playlists. Um, then there's the alternate um, playlists, which I said um, Anti-Hero, Carpal Tunnel Hero 1 and 2. There's also another one called um, Guitar Hero X, and that's another really great one because it's just got a lot of interesting stuff. I think there's like 17 tiers of that one. Um, yeah, I think this is it. So uh, right here, you'll this is the Guitar Hero X, and it's got some decently hard stuff. Not everything is going to be difficult. I mean, you even got like Pink Floyd and <laughs> some really easy stuff. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to navigate through all this stuff when you got so many songs. Um, of course, you can always search on the chorus. Uh, you know, that website where you can just search for individual songs. So that's like where I get a lot of just individual stuff. Or you can always download my charts. Um, so once you're like playing, once you're playing basically everything from Dragon Force to all of the Carpal Tunnel Hero stuff, and you know you're just having fun like you're not gonna learn a lot of tapping stuff from that like some of the Dragon Force songs you'll get to tap practice but honestly one of my favorite things yeah another one of my favorite playlists is this tap note set list one um, this is another really great uh, playlist it's got 84 songs in it and there are just so many just crazy weird stuff in it I mean some of it is just downright impossible in my opinion like, yeah, I'm getting in the 60 percent. And then others, like I'd say my favorite stuff is the ones are the songs that I'm getting about 90 percent. Because those are the ones that I'm like, I can keep up with it. Like there are some parts that are a little too hard, but for the most part, I'm like pushing myself. But yeah, like 50 percent. <laughs> like these songs are just uh, these songs are just meant to um, be painful. Like, let's just see what this looks like. It's only 30 seconds long. But yeah, songs, songs like this are really only for like the very top tier of players. So, I mean, you'll never run out of stuff that's going to be too difficult. Um, but yeah, this whole tap note set list is just full of really fun stuff. I mean, if you're just watching this video and you're watching me scroll through, just um, pick out the songs that I have like a pretty high percentage if you're just getting started. Like, yeah, 97, 95. Just try some of these songs. I'm still trying to get through all of them. There's a lot of them. But bottom line, um, the the best way to get better at the game is just to keep playing. I mean, you a lot of people say they've learned a lot from my uh, lessons, and that's good. Um, really, it, what... When it comes down to it, the only stuff that you have to really, that you might need to learn from somebody else is how to play certain tapping patterns, which is why I've done like all my tapping challenges. Um, yeah, if you're like brand new to uh, tapping, definitely check out my videos for, um... oh, there it is. Ta yeah, check out my tapping challenges because these are, I made these specifically to just be like practicing 
these patterns all the time. And the reason it's good to practice patterns of any type, whether it's tapping, fretting, or it's strumming, um, is the more used to playing it you get, the easier it is for you to transition into that. So I, I get a lot of questions also talking about like how do I how do I work on transitioning from one pattern to the next? And it really just comes down to having the reflexes of knowing exactly what to do when you see a certain pattern. Um, like when I f back when I used to see like chimneys, you know, where it would go like one two three two one three one two three two one three, and just did that over and over again. I would have no idea what to do. I would just kind of you know spam my hand on it and just hope for the best. But ever since I've like ever since I know the actual technique now is to like zigzag tap zigzag tap now it's like I can just be going and it's like oh here comes a chimney and then you can just immediately jump up there and um, you know just know exactly what to do so that's why these tapping songs get a lot more fun when you've been practicing the tapping challenges because you work on your reflexes and you're really working on how well you can transition into new patterns because the better you know the next pattern the easier it is to jump right into it um, I'm not actually going to be playing anything in this video. I just kind of wanted to answer a few questions, talk about um, good ways to practice. Um, the bottom line is always try and challenge yourself. Um, I've, I've said it before, I don't really like playing songs until I FC them. Like, I don't even FC very many songs unless I just really enjoy them and I just like to play them over and over again. But, um,. If you're FCing songs, I feel like that. I mean, FCing songs usually feels like a waste of time to me because if you're FCing them, then they're probably too easy for you. I prefer to play songs where I'm in like the 90 to 98 percent range. Yeah, 90 percent to 98 percent because those are the ones that, you know, I'm good enough that I can take care of most of it, but they are still difficult enough that it is challenging me. And the more you challenge yourself, the more you push yourself, the more you'll improve. And that's why I just... I've been playing probably 10 hours a week for the last year and a half now. And uh, I've noticed myself get significantly better in that time. So hopefully you can uh, learn something from this. And um, yeah, good luck. I hope you guys are enjoying Clone Hero. Don't forget, I still have a, a bounty on my uh, piano challenge. <laughs> the double guitar so check that one out and thanks for watching